fellow sims enjoyers in this video i'm going to walk you through how to download custom content in the sims 4. some people watching might not even know what custom content is so let me explain real quick custom content is a free community made item for your sims game so anything like makeup hair clothes some creators even make custom furniture would fall under the umbrella of custom content so downloading custom content in the sims 4 is actually super simple once you know what you're doing to start you're going to launch your game go into the options setting right here select game options from this menu and then you're going to find where it says other once you're in here you want to make sure that enable custom content and mods is selected then you select apply changes to make sure it's all set and you can exit out of that next you need to find your mods folder so to do that you first want to locate your documents folder and then the folder labeled electronic arts and then the sims 4 and in the sims 4 folder there should be one called mods you're going to open that yours is going to look a lot different than mine uh, especially if this is your first time putting custom content into your game i have a lot of custom content and a lot of mods so yours will look different yours should be empty with one file in it this is your resource file do not touch this file do not put it into a folder do not delete it Ju just leave it there that's what allows the game um to put custom content onto your sims into your game so leave that file alone uh, and then keep this mods folder here open for ease of access later. So next is the fun part, shopping for custom content. I recommend looking on Pinterest by searching The Sims 4 CC or The Sims 4, or you can even use YouTube custom content hauls. You can look up CC Sims 4 CC haul to find links to custom content that way. My two favorite creators on YouTube to find CC hauls are Eliandra and Plumby. Once you find the item or items that you want to download, you're going to navigate your way to the download option for whatever type of post it is. I prefer Patreon posts as they're the most straightforward to find the download options. You just scroll to the bottom and they'll be hyperlinked down here. So you're going to select one of them. It looks like these are just different versions. So we're going to select the download and it should auto download. The downloaded file should be in a dot package format and will be in your downloads folder. So you're going to want to open your downloads folder here and there it is up at the top. From there, it's really simple. You just want to drag the downloaded dot package file into your mods folder. And that's it. You've downloaded custom content. Just a couple of tips before you continue into your journey of custom content. Um, number one, any custom content that's downloaded in a zip file like this one here, you're going to want to extract into your mods folder. So the way that I do it is I just drag it into my mods folder. Once it's all in there, it's transferred over. I right click on it and then I select extract all. And I want to make sure you want to make sure um, that the extraction location is the mods file that you've dragged it into. Um, and you can do that by browsing, going, navigating the same way that you found the mods fold folder the first time, and then select folder and then extract. My second tip is that um, I personally tend to make sure that my custom content uh, stays one folder deep. So with things like collections, when they're in that zip file, they're all going to be one folder deep into the mods folder. So this one is in my mods folder and then it's the Sienna collection. And then here's all of the dot package files. I do this just because I find that I have more issues when I split my custom content too deep into folders. The game has a hard time finding them. Um, so that's my second recommendation tip. My third and final tip is to always remember to only click on safe links while you're downloading custom content. Um, this is why I tend to stick to places like Patreon, Tumblr, Sims File Share, and the Sims Resource because I know that they're not going to be viruses, they're not going to be weird links that I'm clicking on where I might see something 
harmful or anything like that. So keep that in mind while you're browsing. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful for any first time CC Sims players. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments and I will try my best to answer them. All right. Have a good one. Bye.